Hello and welcome to this edition of Daily Actives brought to you by Bootleg Macro. I am Dustin and we are looking at CCL, better known as Carnival Cruise Corporation. And here is the wonderful thing about this stock. It has been on our Daily Actives a few days this week. And what I love to see today is that you got a big change in terms of the trendingness, in terms of that people are still thinking about it, but the volume is falling. The price is falling. We are actually seeing what may hopefully be either a sideways move or some sort of like consolidation before we get a bigger move higher. And the reason why I think that is because we also got another go long, another go long, and another go long. And it looks like we're gonna go back to bullish, bullish, bullish on the intermediate, uh, short term and long term here for uh, Carnival Cruises. The one thing that I would expect is that at least we'd get a little bit of a pullback. And again, most likely sideways action because we are incredibly overbought in terms of the sentiment. We're at 64% on the two day average, which if you watch any of my other videos, that's incredibly high. Usually that indicator won't go above 60 and won't go below 30 and won't go below 40. Right now we look here at CCL. This chart, I mean, these bars look a little incredible. I would suspect that we're going to get a little bit of a move, at least to the side. We'll look at the volatility real quick. The volatility is fascinating because the volatility is quite much, it's very much expanding here while the price correlation is almost staying in lockstep with it. Right now, the price correlation is at 87%. So as this volatility continues to peak, what we would expect is that the price rises with it in these sharp moves. But you can see when we look at the correlation even a little bit more closely that the correlation is actually falling a little bit as the price of volatility is rising. So what we'd want to see most likely, or what we'd expect is over the next coming weeks, we'd see price volatility kind of fall like we saw here in March right where it goes negative and we see the volatility start to fall very much like we saw here in it looks like the end of March as well. If we can get that, that actually would mean that the price would go sideways to up, uh, not necessarily going down, but we would see at least a little bit of the, the pullback in this bullish demand, which would let it reset for a move higher. But tell me what you think in the comments below. Are you long? Are you short? Do you like it? Do you love it? Is this even a good review? And don't forget to subscribe to the new high newsletter, which comes out on Sundays at nine. I'll talk to you soon.